Mr. Ken, it's Mr. Bob. Uh, please forgive the lighting. Uh, it's not a Ken Kelsch lighting uh, scheme, as but then again, what is? Anyway, this is. Uh, I just wanted to show you some of the, the tricks I did with my little um, Cold Steel GI Tonto Chicom hunk of metal. Um, it was so well balanced right out of the uh, uh, box that I didn't want to screw with the handle. I was going to put a paracord handle on it because I think it would look a lot better. But uh, and this handle is slippery as far as I'm concerned. Um, I was worried about when uh, I was handling it with my hands wet. Uh, so I just put, uh, you can't see it I'm sure, because it's not a Ken Kelsch lighting. Anyway, I put uh, old time electrical tape up across the um, Allen uh, bolts on the top and bottom here. It's that old sticky um, cloth tape and it helps keep the bolts in when you're hammering. Uh, splitting wood but uh, it's also perfect because it, 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 it's sticky a little bit just enough so that I get a great grip right at my fourth finger and thumb and another great grip right here at my uh, little finger so uh, that worked out great and also um, I put a little thing on the end here uh, to hold it for if I'm doing chopping and stuff like that so I don't end up cutting my leg off um, this little piece I put on here uh, has a little plastic thing on there that you can just clip and the whole thing comes right off. Uh, so when I throw uh, for, oh, I guess up to 10, 10, 11 feet or so, I use the thorn throw um, uh, where it's no spin, uh, you know, sliding out of my hand with my finger coming off the end here. Uh, and then after that, the reason I've never liked uh, two-edged throwing knives is that uh, I like to throw by the blade. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's my little hang-up. So when I'm doing um, uh, either a full spin or a spin and a half, uh, you know, up to you know, uh, 15 to say uh, 25 feet, I um, I like grabbing this, and I love that it's not sharpened up there, and that. I was thinking of sharpening this edge too, but I'm going to wait till I use it uh, to see if I'm going to sharpen it because, uh, like I said, you're going to be using it to hammer to split wood. Uh, you're going to be hammering on that edge, so um, it's going to take a beating, so I don't know if I'm going to sharpen it or not. Uh, my only, I, I'm going to wait till I use it, but this seems very sharp here on my, on my forefinger. I'm thinking of uh, rounding rounding this this outer edge and the side edges off so that I can use it in this manner, uh, the flicking manner uh, without it hurting my, my delicate fingers. Anyway, that's my baby and then the wonderful sheath they came up with. Um, it's so great because it form fits to the knife, it has all these great Dijo holes uh, I use this as a leg strap because uh, you need to keep it down. This um, the belt uh, um, loop can be taken up or down, which is fabulous. Um, I put an old um, Leatherman blaze on there, and to be able to get it out better, I pulled out the lantern uh, loop and added just a little key ring on it. And see, so that helps me goo that out real quick as I want to. Got my old um, Gerber uh, diamond powder uh, tube sharpener on there. Uh, this is all stuff I had laying around. I just, you know, um, used the old uh, plastic ties and I put a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a, a fire starter on the end there which I can either use the knife to do or uh, I have a little uh, additional fire starter uh, piece of metal right here that I can use to take off. Boy, uh, a full tang so that I'm getting thinking of getting another one to make a spear out of it because I think this is a great spear knife. Um, I, I just I can't tell you how pleased I am with uh, a knife uh, uh, this functional uh, you know, under thirty dollars. 
So it's really, uh, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it already. Um, I wish somebody would make these things adjustable. Uh, they all open the same way forward. I would love it to open backward for a quick draw release. But that's me. And also, the, if I can bitch for about a $25 knife, I will, of course. Um, single stitched. Uh, I wish it, uh, if I had my druthers and talent, I would make it double or triple stitch just to see it's already unraveling a little bit right there, which I'm going to cut off. But um, I may just go over those stitches with some uh, silicon or something to make sure they don't unravel more because they're. Well, it's only one stitch. Anyway, love it. Hope you're doing great out there or wherever you are in the world. Uh, give my love to everybody and uh, say hi to Abel and, and the gang for me. And uh, hope to see your smiling face soon. Talk to you, buddy.